Hey guys, this is Kenshin from Final Fantasy XI, The Adventures of Kenshin. Today, this is going to be part one of how to make some gill on Final Fantasy XI. A lot of people are having a hard time making gill who are not a part of a, you know, in-game leak shell. Well, here's a way to make gill off of sparks. Alright, well first, you pop some Atmos on. I use Raised Ruin and, well, it doesn't say right here, and Sanguine Scythe. Basically, up your crit damage, but really, you if you have a pretty good, decent, like, level 117 weapon, you don't have to worry about that, because, let me show you something. And if you have an AOE, Area of Effect Weapon Skill, or Move, it makes it pretty easy. You just go to, oh, don't mind my baby, don't mind my baby crying in the background. She's just hungry. She's getting some food now. Basically, you just get. This is an objective, which would be do 500 plus damage and vanquish multiple enemies. And watch the magic. Boop, 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 boop. Now, there's probably other efficient, you know, more efficient ways to do this. But hey, I love Beastmaster. So. A rocket. <clears throat> but trust me, if you have a multi attack, you know, move or whatever, like, you know, or you just swing really fast or double attack, it makes a difference. That trial goes by fast. <clears throat> and really, you shouldn't have to worry about, you know, dying because, I mean, they do hit pretty hard for fodder mobs, but. It's not a difference maker. Pop down here with these guys. Hey guys. Come on. Let's play. Oh no, I got stunned. Ooh. Now you can't get down to dangerously low levels. But hey. Uh, that's the dangerously low little part. And just go buck crazy with area attack weapons moves. I use the bunny with roll claws. That does some ownage right there. Yep. And then let the bunny do the work. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've been using the bunny so. I use some pet food before it dies. Okay. Got some health. And now you just start whacking away. Now watch this. Just swing, swing. See, my normal attacks are doing like 800. My crits, they do like. Not quite sure. But they do a lot of damage. Let's tell yourself up. Just pick them off one by one. Heck yeah. Man, that rabbit's getting drained. But yeah, it's really easy to farm sparks. In part two, I'll show you where to go to get the stuff to sell because it's a pretty good profit maker. Especially when you had the spare sparks. Woo! All these chests. I 
have me some of that. And those things spawn back fast. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh no. I got aggro body. Or should I say fog body? Don't hurt me. Just, they won't let me. They won't let me open the chests. Oh, another handy side tip. If you macro your item in, your key in to open his chest, your pet will still fight. Good fight. Yes. Unfortunately, I gotta click on this one called I wanna see what's inside. So my pet will stop fighting. But any other stuff. Oh sweet. I'm gonna NPC that baby. Boom boom boom, make this get boom boom boom. Alright. Open these chests. Holy moly, that's a lot of items in there. I might get me some dusty elixir. But yeah, and if you don't have a pet or you don't have an AOE, you know, area of effect weapon skill, all you just do have multi attack or double attack. Just swing, swing, swing. That's it. Well, I'll get to part B and see you guys in part B.